Hello, welcome to the new energy and frequency update, the last one of this month of May 2024. Yes, it has been a very extraordinary month and of course making sense in a way, although our path is not written. We are really on a path of mystery. Humanity, maybe even the cosmos and earth have never gone through this unprecedented evolution. However, April was a month where we got so many downloads, we got so many new tools and, and ways of beingness. And so in May, we had an opportunity to actually enjoy, to embody, to ground. So very much in the energy of, of Taurus, right? Bringing it into your life, bringing it into the earth. And so this last week is really a last reminder in a way. We had the luckiest day of the year last Saturday on the 18th. And we have another week to go. And it's very beautiful to understand that this fortune is really something to bring in, to ground and to embody. This fortune is maybe not, you know, 20 new cars and three new houses. It's not about the, the belongings. It doesn't mean you shouldn't have a house or a car. By no means, we should be living really well. And we can. But it is about, it's more about the abundance that we are about to experience as we're going deeper into this new relationship with the divine. <laughs> And this week for me, one of the most important words was actually beingness. So the divine part of us, we can call the beingness. We use that in Advaita and other beautiful traditions as well. So it's important now to really come into that beingness and into the unmanifest and the uncreated because we are writing the path. We are making it up. We are making that recipe and we're cooking it too. So it's very important at this moment that we really in this last week ground these beautiful energies in of fortune, of abundance, of really connecting on a different level and relating differently with the divine. So this is one thing I'm looking at my notes because I really don't want to forget anything so that embracing that fortune that is with us and the fortune is not as I said in the physical it can come partially in the physical because we live in a physical world but it is about really coming into that space of gratitude gratitude and appreciation attract it's some of the tools of manifestation so accept it, receive it. And at the same time, be more generous than ever in your giving. Doesn't mean you have to give money, but there's many things you can give. Like I'm giving you this update. I'm giving you an upgrade at the end, bring you some sound. I can give you that. It doesn't require for me to go to the bank and take my last dollars or solace out. The giving is really important because the more we give, the more is being returned. So this last week is very important to have that consciousness of that month and that beautiful energy that we have received. Dare to be free. So this is another very interesting thing. This last week is really calling out, dare to be free to be you. And again, in the context of the beingness. And the beingness, of course, is also in the heart. So I'm talking about living from the heart, our unique choice. I'm talking about beingness. This is, this is it. We're talking about weaving a bridge to new earth and heart consciousness together. Because it's not just one person has the opportunity to get enlightened. No, this is a collective event unprecedented has never been that way so these last days bring it in enjoy it trust all these beautiful guides that are around you i find myself reconnecting for instance to the lemurians i worked a lot with the lemurians in new zealand and i left new zealand 
12 years ago. And so now they're coming back through the Hawaiians, which is like, okay, be open. Don't get lost in your mind. Your mind can take you on all kinds of roller coasters that takes you into stress and sickness and disbelief, disconnectedness, analysis that creates even a bigger gap and separation. When now we are actually here to ground in our wholeness, our beingness. So what else is important that you can remember? very very important is actually in integrating the solar energy and uh, Tim Wilde and Louise uh, don't remember her last name she comes from Sweden but they work together they have spoken about the solar self and I've done their meditation of course and I find it very very beautiful and it's not just the solar as the masculine it's the solar as the divine feminine and masculine and they talk about Vesta and Helios so I feel that's another beautiful thing I mean it's not an accident that all these solar flares and solar storms are coming in they actually have the purpose to bring this other part of us to us so if we're really looking at this month of of May and the end the last week it's an opportunity to come into a new relationship and it's really up to you. So the relationship is between you, the human self, and between you, the infinite self, your soul, your spirit, your heart, whatever name suits you. But in that, it's not just that infinite I am. It is also your connection, whether you're connected to the star seeds or ascended masters or dragons or angels it doesn't really matter what is important right now as we don't know the road we know where we're going but we don't know how and this is perfect we're learning to live in the mystery and I feel this last week is really an invitation to consciously shift into homo luminous so the homo sapiens were thinking and thinking and thinking based in fear based in separation based in the mind it doesn't mean that your mind is bad but it just means it has been controlling you and the unconscious has controlled us so we're learning in this month the last week to really step out of that addiction to the unconscious mind control. And I'm doing that too. It doesn't mean that I'm already totally free and clear, no. There's still bits and pieces and it's wonderful to get this awareness, to embrace it until I can let it go. Yes, there's still things that I can let go, but this letting go is taking us deeper into the homo luminous. So, enjoy this last week i'm sure it's going to be very amazing and of course june has beautiful new energies for us to come our way so this is what's happening with the energy and i really feel yeah the lemurians come to me again and yeah i'm sensing it's really about making that bridge making that bridge between you this physical being, this homo sapien, maybe halfway on the shift to homo luminous, and your beingness. So the homo luminous will embody it all. And this is where we're going. And we're, we're here to embody and to ground that in now in May, because in June there's some other beautiful energies and opportunities that are coming our way. So bear with me for a moment as I'm tuning in yeah the Lemurians are coming in and the Acturians are coming in they're saying in order to do that we need a lot of healing still and healing they say actually means to embrace and let go 
to step out of the binary and dual worlds but yet find the true essence of the physical and the non-physical. And Helios com coming in as well to represent the solar energies. And just invite whoever is coming to you now. The solar dragons are very strong, they're really supporting us now as we are building a bridge into that new connectedness, new relatedness to our whole self that we may have spoken about before but we have not truly met. Coming into that harmony Chakalamonundarishindare yama yomane Chakalimandara honara konara rirara hona yama Chokalamenara honana kerara konarama Nori perara perara perana na 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 Chui chui ho Chui 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 na ha 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 Ukla ye matala Ukla tea mea mera kona ya Chura mena chura mena kala re ma yo Charima 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 ya and just allow that bridge for you between your physical and your non-physical and how they can come together in your multidimensionality just in harmony there's nothing to fight there's nothing to fear they are one you have chosen to be in this life at this unpreceded amazing time of evolution and shift ascension into new earth palalareya palalareya namareya noa Palanarea, palanarea, palanarea noha. Yeah, so just enjoy these blessings. And of course, I'm very keen to hear what comes through from that sound bridge. Yes, I, I know about my language and I have been using it for possibly more than 20 years, but there's something very new coming through now and it's not just for me that something new is coming through it's that deeper connection that deeper relatedness the state of being related with the divine with the spirit it's it's coming through for all of us and it is for all of us and yeah i love to share it so what's happening here with us? Well, Sonko's Worlds is really enjoying this time because this is what it was all about all the time, living from the heart and weaving a bridge into new earth together. So Sonko's Worlds is really an amazing space where we're going to have some change. And you saw that if you read our community, we are going to change Sonic Sonko's not because we don't feel like the sonic song course, the two voices of the heart, but because we feel that name doesn't necessarily reflect what we're doing. The only ones who truly understand that meaning is actually us. So we are in the process to check what's coming through. And if you, if you feel like it and if, if you want to support us in this, please make your vote in the community. It's going to be either the bridge to new earth which kind of fits in with our vision weaving a bridge to new earth and heart consciousness together 
it can be access beingness, which is pretty much in the theme that we were talking about today, or it can be consciousness bridge. So we are not looking for the fancy name, we are looking for the name that kind of represents what we are doing here. So we can build this community and get more people on board and share the love with more. So this is about the name. So yes, I feel next week we're going to be ready to make the change with a new banner, with a new description and all of that. So thank you for being with us. And um, yeah, we're growing, I'm very sure. And it is about that. It's not about monetization. I mean, there's plenty of ways, of course, to make money. It's also not about numbers, really. But it is about reflecting what is really going on here on our channel. The next part is that's very exciting. We have gone into inspired dreaming, inspired action, inspired creating. And for the first time, we're actually putting together a local presence, as in what are we offering locally in regards of retreats. If you're here often enough, you know that we live at Anacaspi and we have our own place here and there's two more rooms upstairs. And honestly, they're most of the time empty. And our big passion is actually to, to facilitate retreats. So we have had retreats, but we've never put it out there in a way and we're doing this now so it's very exciting Ceci currently putting together a flyer that we will be sharing in Tarapoto which is the next city where also the airport is so if you want to come in it's not so difficult and we're just 20 minutes right from the airport in Lamas so now the airport is in Tarapoto but we're living in Lamas so Yes, so this is coming up and it's very exciting for us. The other thing that's very exciting, we have now been able to make two very good connections in Sicily and in Jamaica. And so our heart fire, the dance with your heart fire to, your, to yourself is going to be launched next week. So we finish our local and then we're putting out the international. So if everything works well, which means we're getting three times four people because we keep it to four people to really ensure that you have that full experience that you can really take home and integrate. Then we're gonna go to Sicily and we're gonna have two or three retreats in Jamaica at Treasure Beach. We were able to actually connect to a beautiful villa that's perfect for us. It has its own private beach and a very lovely friend and actually apprentice of mine has recommended and she also runs a restaurant so it is all very very beautiful how it just unfolded when you allow things to come from your heart so this is the biggest part we we have the school almost ready we will be adding on things as they flow and the guides are very clear school maybe not for one or a class maybe but for us it is it can be a class for one and it is not a session we have also updated of course our privates which are sessions which are not classes and yeah yesterday i had a, a session with one of my favorite clients and i i think we, we've been working together for about 10 years and these are sessions. We, we don't do packages. We don't do apprenticeship or anything like that. But the sessions are just so amazing. And yes, most of my sessions are here in the hammock. And it's one session at a time. So people come and we, we look into what is actually possible. You know, I, I can see more and more the you or I, I trust more and more the you, the light that I see, your wholeness. And so it's just absolutely beautiful. So yes, we, we like to do that. The thing is we, we keep a pace. So yes, I have this infinite energy and source from my beingness and my heart, but I'm still valuing the time and I'm valuing my attention and the physical part of me. So we're having a pace here. It's not like we're having 20 clients a month, a week, no. Yeah, so I wanted to say that. So that became very clear. While I love it, it's not something I want to do from nine to five at all. 
but the ones that I do, I truly, truly love. Um, we've also started the evolutionary mystic coaching. I made peace. Thank you for being here very long today. Yeah, it's funny. I, I was coaching before I knew it was coaching. Then I studied coaching. Then I taught coaching. And then I didn't want to do any more coaching. It's a little bit like the healing arts. But nevertheless, of course, coaching has many, many benefits. So we named it Evolutionary Mystic Coaching. And these are mainly monthly programs and they apply particularly to people who feel off and disconnected. It's mental health, it can be all these kind of things. But it's also for leaders. So whatever suits you and also the apprenticeship. So check it out. The shop is still there and you can always get a nice story to inspire your day. So this is happening here with the still Sonic Sonkos, but the name will be changing later on next week. So thank you for being here for this update today and sending you so much love from my hammock and my beautiful space here in Lamas, Peru.